This tutorial will show you how to make an organizational chart, or an org chart for short. Org charts are a simple way to visualize the reporting structure or hierarchy of the people in your company. While having a clear reporting structure is important for HR and leadership teams, providing an org chart to all your employees is a great idea too. When employees know who in their organization is responsible for what, they can better communicate and collaborate by building connections across the company to get access to the skills they need. In this tutorial, we're using Gliffy, which is an easy to use app available in Confluence, Jira, and online. You can learn more about Gliffy through the info linked in the upper right, or you can find a link to start a free trial in our video description. In Gliffy, I'm going to go to File, New, And as the editor loads, it'll pop up with some shapes available. And I'm just going to do basic because all we need to make an org chart is our basic shapes. This preloads shapes into the editor on the side here that you can drag and drop onto your canvas to make a diagram. So all I need to do is start dragging and dropping in the shapes that represent the people I need included in my diagram. In this case, I'm going to start with the highest shape in this org chart, which is going to represent the CEO. Then I'll draw out shapes for the people reporting directly to the CEO, such as the chief financial officer. I can keep dragging and dropping shapes like this, or you can quickly duplicate a shape by clicking on it and using the keyboard shortcut Control or Command D. So I can make a copy of that one. Do another one. All right, and there might be more roles, but to keep this tutorial moving, I'm gonna leave it there. Next, I'm gonna consider who reports to each of these folks. So under here, I could have Director of IT, and our legal counsel, let's say we've got a few marketing associates on the team. All right, so this gives me a rough idea of what this organization is looking like. Once I've dragged and dropped in shapes that represent each role, all I need to do is go up here and use the connector tool to draw the lines that connect each of them throughout the reporting structure. And you'll know that you're linking a line correctly when that green dot appears that tells you it's successfully locked into a main connection point on the shape. Now, how you draw these connections might change. So, for example, these marketing associates, I stacked them for the sake of saving space. And so you might draw the connections like this with everyone dropping down from one line up to the chief marketing officer, or you might choose to just draw lines through the middle. It's totally up to you how you want to style this. One other thing to note is you might want to use a dotted line to represent some soft relationships within your structure. And so you can change the style of lines by clicking on the line, and then clicking on this Edit Line Properties panel. And then from here, you can choose dotted, you can change the color of the line, you can change the weight. Same thing applies to these roles. If you want to highlight a certain role or say this marketing associate role is open, so you want it to be light gray, that works great as well. There's one other tip I want to share if you're going to make an org chart in Gliffy. Gliffy comes preloaded with tons of templates. So I'm going to go to New and when this window pops up, you can click this Create from a Template button. 
In here, we have lots of templates available and you can select org charts. And then we've got options within here. So this can be a great way to save time by selecting something like this. And then just jumping in and modifying what exists here to add or remove roles as needed. That's everything you need to know to make an org chart in Gliffy. When you're done, be sure to save it and use this button to share your diagram so that you can have an always up-to-date version of this diagram in your other tools like Slack, Trello, and more. This will help your team find who they could work with in other areas of the organization. Good luck and happy diagramming.